Why are civilian tractors pulling what appear to be 122mm artillery rockets? North Korea's founding day parade shows that there is something ominous going on in the country. Pyongyang was the backdrop to a parade held to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the nation. Kim Jong-un attended the event with his daughter and watched the parade from his booth. The celebrations came with a promise from the dictator to improve diplomatic relations with Russia and China. What caught the world's attention was not the celebration itself, but what was displayed during the parade. North Korea redefined the concept of civil defense once again, by showcasing various weapons disguised as agricultural vehicles and regular trucks. The convoy included everyday vehicles equipped with the country's most powerful weapons. This display of paramilitary power was led by worker peasant Red Guards, which reportedly has 5.7 million members. What separates these paramilitary forces from the Korean People's Army gives us a glimpse at the future military strategy of the country. Experts claim this demonstration signifies North Korea's willingness to use civilian forces as a line of defense should an all-out war start with South Korea. As a modern twist on an old military tactic, concealment will likely increase the probability of survival for these vehicles. This tactic may also aim to take advantage of the reluctance shown by the First World when it comes to hitting civilian targets. Perhaps the most disturbing fact about deterrence is that it is an essential part of the country's nuclear strategy. For a nation that claims to have more than 30 nuclear warheads, willingness to hide weapons in civilian vehicles is an intimidation tactic. The concealment of these weapons means no preemptive cautions can be taken against them before they are deployed. It was reported that North Korea has already successfully deployed similar weapons both from modified rail cars and within a lake. This is not the first time North Korea held such a demonstration. Just two years ago, a similar parade was held. Now the world asks the question, just what exactly is going on in North Korea?